Primary Math Standards Edition, or SE, has a 2008 copyright and is for grades kindergarten through sixth. This edition was adapted to meet the 1997 California math standards and came before Common Core. The California standards at that time were rigorous compared to those in most other U.S. states and had been created using the East Asian math programs as examples. Accordingly, there were few changes that needed to be made to the original Singapore program to bring it into alignment. So what was changed from Primary Math U.S. edition? A small amount of content was added, probability data analysis, negative numbers and coordinate graphing. The topic order of each level was rearranged. Practice sets within each unit and cumulative reviews at the end of each unit were added so there's more review overall. The textbooks for all grades are full color. Workbooks are black and white. There are three basic components for each semester course in this edition, teacher guides, textbooks, and workbooks. But this edition also provides test books for each semester and a practice book that covers the topics from the entire year. The teacher guides are designed to help parents and teachers understand the methodology and course materials as well as provide detailed suggestions and question and answer dialogues to help introduce concepts. For example, much of the concrete aspect of the lesson presentation is conducted by the teacher using manipulatives and supplies outlined in the teacher guide. Then the textbooks will present the pictorial representation of those concepts and workbooks provide independent practice. Both teacher guides and textbooks are constantly moving the student toward abstract thinking. The black and white teacher guides also feature mental math activities and math fact practice suggestions. Be aware that math fact drill, which many of our customers consider important, is not a significant part of the student material, but is suggested and incorporated into the teacher materials. Teacher guides have detailed daily lesson plans with assignments listed within those lesson plans. Textbook answers are at point of use and workbook answers are in the back of the book. Lists of suggested manipulatives and materials, as well as mental math worksheets and some teaching helps are included. Information on how to access a six-month subscription to the Supplemental Online Math Buddies program is also provided with the teacher guide for this edition. A welcome letter is sent to the purchasers after the order is processed. The Math Buddies program is user-friendly and provides teach and learn multimedia and animated learning segments, guided learning, and practice. Segments are topical and follow the general scope and sequence of the textbooks. Navigation through them is easy. Just like all the other Singapore method programs, the textbooks are designed as non-consumable with students answering orally in conversation with the teacher or writing answers on separate pieces of paper or directly in the textbook if you choose. The textbook addresses the student directly and is fundamental to the course content providing the path where the teacher can move from the concrete presentations to the abstract by interacting with the student and the pictorial problem examples. Workbooks correlate directly with the textbooks and provide focused practice on the mathematical concepts presented in the textbook lessons. And the student is expected to do all workbook exercises independently. There are separate answer key booklets available for grades one through three and one for grades four through six. These are necessary only if you are not using the teacher guide. These booklets provide answers, but no solutions to the problems for both textbooks and workbooks. Taking a closer look at the course materials, we can see how they work together. Mental math, math fact drills and teaching segments, as well as reinforcement games and activities are all built into the various lessons for each weekly unit in the teacher guides. The course overview in the teacher guide provides a week by week summary. Here you can see that unit four is covering multiplying tables of six, seven, eight, and nine over the course of five weeks. During the first week, the lessons include a lesson on dividing by six. The daily lesson plans for that day are detailed and illustrations and instructions flow over four pages with plenty of white space for the teacher to add their own notes. The lesson starts by listing the objectives, the standards, and the materials needed. 
The teaching strategies outline concrete visuals using number disks and guide the student through two sample problems. Then it follows a problem that corresponds with the student text and shows the steps for working the problem through to the answer. A question and answer teaching dialogue is provided for the teacher. To help the teacher assess understanding, the student is asked to solve the problems listed in task nine on textbook page 115. The answers are provided right in the teacher guide. At the end of the lesson, the student is assigned workbook exercise four to complete independently. Answers for these two workbook pages are in the back of the teacher guide. Rather than starting with memory work, this lesson includes an investigative challenge that involves using a hundreds chart that is provided at the back of the book. Other lessons in the weekly unit work on multiplication and division math facts using flashcards. An activity suggestion is part of every lesson. These provide opportunities for team activities and encourage mental math and math fact recall. In the standards edition of primary math, there are two types of supplemental books, test books and an extra practice workbook for each level. There are test books for each semester course. Each provides two differentiated tests with multiple choice and free response questions for each unit. Test A focuses on key concepts and fundamental problem solving skills. Test B focuses on the applying of analytical skills, thinking skills, and investigative methods. Answers to these tests are in the back of the test book. Teachers can choose which of these tests to use with which students. There are also cumulative assessments after each unit. These cover topics from earlier units. Again, there's an A version and a B version for each cumulative test. A year-end assessment covers the complete course and is also available in a test A and a test B. All of these tests are non-reproducible, but a complete answer key is included. The Supplemental Extra Practice series matches the scope and sequence of the primary math textbooks, but with a single book covering topics from the whole year. They are similar in format to the primary math black and white workbooks and include the same types of problems and exercises. There is an emphasis on math fact and skill proficiency but word problems are also included. Answers are found in the back of the book. Because of the fast pacing of the Singapore Approach math programs, make sure your student starts out in the most appropriate level. Be aware that it is not unusual for a student to place below grade level on the placement test because of the different pacing, scope, and sequence. When students complete the primary math standards edition series, they're usually ready for grade seven of math in focus series or level one of new elementary math, or they could move to a traditional pre-algebra or possibly an algebra program. If you have questions about this program or any Singapore math in general, please contact our team of consultants. We can be reached by phone at 888-841-3456 or email us at consultants at rainbowresource.com. You can live chat at our website. Our office is open Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. Central Time.